Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sofia Goyal and I am here with the React interview questions part 2 uh, which will be like you know the first part of the advanced interview questions in React and again friends I would like to request you please do not skip the video uh, because again I will be explaining a lot of related things to those questions and uh, you know like how you need to think about it so please do not skip and also I have created a JavaScript interview question series for you guys which will be a lot more helpful if you are preparing for a front-end web developer interview. So please check out by clicking on the i button above. Fine. So yeah, let's begin. So here is the part 2 of our React interview question series and I am very excited about it. Fine. So uh, the first question will be what are higher order components, okay? So the higher order components are very very important in React. And there are a lot of higher order components which we use like React Memo and uh, you know like the Bit Store and you know the, there are a lot of higher order components that we already use in React so we need to know about it and there could be you know the associated question like why higher order components are used what is the use of higher order components why we need to create them there could be some people who might ask you about the structure of a higher order component like how you can write it so please try to practice it a bit so that you can you know give them a rough idea on how do you write these kind of components the next question it will be like what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a hoc like we know the advantage that's why we are using but as i said that you need to think about the disadvantages also like if you are using this what will be the disadvantages of using uh, these kind of components and then if you're telling the disadvantage, then you can also, you know, think about finding out the fix for them or finding out the replacement for these kind of components. So, yeah, that could be one thing to study on. Okay. The next question will, will be like, what is prop drilling? So, this is basically an issue uh, that we face or that could be there in React. Uh, and we need to like, you know, we know these issues, but we don't know the terminology is used to, you know, check them i knew this problem but i did not know that it is called prop drilling so when it was asked to me for the first time i did not know what is prop drilling they just asked me and i was blank and then i realized oh my god i knew it so yeah knowing these terms is also very important these days and again yeah the next thing will be how to fix that if that is the problem then there will be a fix and what will be the fix for this fine uh, the next question is what is state lifting in react so there is a concept of state lifting. You can check it out in the React documentation also. That is, it is also present there. So what is state lifting in React? Again, these are just the terminologies. Maybe you have used it. Maybe you know about it. But you don't know that it is called state lifting. And the other thing could be like give some practical scenario. See, so in these questions, they also want to know like if you know any practical scenario where state lifting will be required or you know something. So, you know, just put a, you know, basic idea about these things in your head like in so and so scenarios it can be used then it becomes easier for you to answer in an interview rather than you know thinking a lot at that particular time fine uh, the next question will be what are react hooks very 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 important everybody is switching to functional components now and they need to know about hooks like what are hooks why they are used and everything about that have you used it or not if you even if you have not used it they expect you to know some basic hooks like use state use effect like you should know what kind of what is that and why they are used fine now one question will be like why hooks were introduced in react what was the use of hooks it was working fine with the class based components and what does it what was the need of introducing hooks uh, one question that i forgot to update here is like in which version you need to upgrade to react to get these hooks that is a stupid question for me but still people ask it a lot i would say uh, the other question will be what are the hooks that you have used again as I said that they might ask whether you have used it professionally or personally in some project and what are the hooks that you have used they want to know like what kind of knowledge of hooks you are having. Uh, the next question can, uh, could be can we create our own hooks so yeah can you create a custom hook of uh, yourself or not uh, so I will tell you the answer is yes we can create custom hooks for ourselves but if you are creating a custom hook again what is the use of creating a custom hook by in which scenario so the next question will be give some scenario where we might need to create a custom hook fine uh, the next question will be what are controlled and uncontrolled components so there are these control components and there are these uncontrolled components in react so what are these components uh, we need to know about it 
and you know you need to give some example or uh, some practical scenario where we can use a control component and where we can use an control component now the component that you you are calling a control component why is it controlled and the other one why is it not controlled so you know you need to know a lot a uh, completely uh, full uh, a complete scenario of uh, using this controlled and uncontrolled components and why uh, they are called so with that name and what is the feature that they are fulfilling fine i'll also try to create a separate video with a lot of details on these controlled and uncontrolled components later at some time uh, fine uh, the next question could be what is set state uh, you know like we know that we use set state in the react class components to update the state so what is set state then there could be some associated questions like how set state works working of set state is very important for people they want to know like how is it working uh again the is set state synchronous or asynchronous is it working sync because you know when you know these things it becomes easier for you to work on react and uh, you should know it fine the next question will be what is the use of callback function inside set state the spelling is wrong please don't mind but yeah the callback function uh, the second parameter the first is the state that you are updating the second is the callback function that you pass what is the use of that why do we need it most of you might not have even used a callback function but you need to know the use of that fine the next question will be shall we call set state inside render method so are you supposed to call set state inside render method or people could ask it in a different manner like are you supposed to set state in a render method or not when you need to give them the answer with a valid reason that is it valid or not fine so the next question will be what is the use of key in react see we have this key in react uh when we get an array of elements and we try to generate components using those, that array we have to pass the key uh which is you know very important part in react uh, you will get a warning uh, if you if you do not use key so by getting a warning you know you are allowed to do it without using key because th that is just a warning not an error not an exception so it will not block you anywhere it will execute it perfectly but there will be some issues or there will be some repercussions of not using a key that's why it is giving a warning so please 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 definitely use a key whatever it is fine now the uh, other question will be can we use index as key like if you are iterating on array you will be getting the index can we use that index as a key and the next question will, will be in which situation uh, should we not use index as key fine so can we use index as a key yes we can but should we use index as a key no we should not fine so uh, now there are scenarios in which you can use it and there are scenarios in which you can not use it so you need to know about it like what are those scenarios or the other question could be like what are the disadvantages so if you are saying like no i should not use index as a key then the per other person will be asking like what are the disadvantages of using index as a key or like what are the scenarios in which you should not be using that index as a key fine the next question will be how to validate props in react okay so there is this validation of props like uh, when you have some certain props like you have some four or five props and you know like for example there is a person component there is a props about the person that needs to be passed and there could be name last name address phone number so you know these are the things that you want to be passed so you want to put that validation like this 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 will be my props this 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 will be uh, the type of the props like the uh, the telephone number will be of number other props will be of type string what will be mandatory what will not be mandatory so these kind of things that you can provide some validations but how can you do that so you need to tell them the method you need to know about it right so friends uh, that's it about today's video uh, if you think that these questions were good or if you have figures in the interviews or if they can help you please like and share to your friends who might need it uh tell me in the comment section about your experiences uh if you have if you find these questions useful or they came in your interview or in any way i i was able to help you out and uh, till then so see you in the next video bye bye